Hey guys, I just got back from San Diego for some much needed R&R. Now my wife always says, whenever I bring camera gear, I never really go on vacation. So I only bring my iPhone with me, but I'm never content to shoot with a stock iPhone. I'm always looking for something else. And what I discovered is this cool little adapter from a company called Moment. It's an anamorphic adapter. And in a nutshell, what it does is it takes the image and squeezes it onto your sensor so you get this wide screen cinematic 2.4 to 1 aspect ratio. It looks really, really great. Now, you could achieve the same look in post by cropping the top and the bottom, but you're actually losing pixel data when you do that. So what I want to do is walk you through my process using this lens and this phone. So as I mentioned, the lens I'm using is from a company called Moment. Just search for the anamorphic lens on their site. By the way, Moment is not paying me for this review. This is an item I paid full price for, so I wanted to get that out of the way. Looking through the lens, you can see that the aperture has an egg shape, which is what projects the squeezed image onto your camera's sensor. In order to use the anamorphic lens, you'll need to purchase one of their phone cases because it has a built-in lens mount. You can purchase any of their other lens attachments, wide angle, macro, etc., and they all work with this case. To attach the lens, just line up the hash marks on the lens and the case, then give the lens a twist. Once the lens is mounted, you'll need to use either the Moment app or Filmic Pro to de-squeeze the image before shooting. The movie will be recorded in the full 2.4 to 1 aspect ratio. So here's my vacation video shot with a Moment anamorphic adapter. few things you'll need to be aware of. For one, if you shoot in the direction of the sun, you'll get some nasty lens flares in your shot you'll have to deal with. You'll also see some slight distortion at the very edges of the frame, but honestly, given what this lens does with your iPhone footage, I can live with that. Second, if you shoot with the Osmo gimbal, you'll want to get some counterweights so that you don't put undue strain on the motors. For one or two shots, you can get away without them, but if you're shooting for several hours, they'll save you wear and tear on your gimbal. And third, you'll want to be careful with the lens, as the front has a lens cap, but the back does not, and it's easy for dust and other crap to get into your lens. Before I put the lens back into its pouch, I cover it with a small piece of gaffer's tape. So, that's my review. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Please subscribe, click the bell, and we'll see you next time.